Good morning. I'm coming at you today for a quick live out of the blue because you all resonated so much last week with the catalog that I brought from Amazon and the examples I showed you about how you could apply it to your design, like your Instagram graphics, your social media graphics, even on your website. So I am coming at you today with another edition. And today is the sneaky place you can find graphics inspo for your social feeds, for your branding. And my favorite place to go find this is at the mall. And the reason why is because if you walk around the mall, you will see all kinds of store signage, right? Or signage like in the middle of the mall. Um, they'll be advertising sales. They'll be advertising promotions. And a lot of times, if you go do this, you can get ideas for design approaches for your graphics that are really on trend. They're hot. They're like, and it depends on your market, right? So the examples I'm going to show you today, and I'm going to share my screen in a minute, are both targeted more towards the younger market, probably <clears throat> teens and 20s girls. Okay, so if you have a different market, maybe you have men over the age of 60, well, then you might want to go into a place like Dunham's or so you want to go seek out graphics that might meet your market. But just because the graphics I'm showing you today tend to be targeted toward a younger market doesn't mean that you can't use them in your market if you want. Like you can still borrow ideas from this and apply it. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and hopefully this will work out okay. Never know how it work goes with sharing my screen. Ah, Okay, here we go. So hopefully you can see this. And these are the three things that I grabbed for you just with my camera. I took a snap to show you design inspiration in the wild and how my brain thinks and how you might be able to apply this in your business. So these first two are from American Eagle. Okay, this is their signage hanging in their windows. And here's a couple of things that you could steal right from American Eagle and use in your graphics. See how they've got a little drop shadow behind the text? So there's the white, but then it's got this navy background. Well, that's something that you could try out in Canva and do with your text. The other thing that you can borrow from them is check out their images. So what I love here is they kind of just hint at something seasonal and holiday. It's not totally in your face. They aren't showing us the whole Christmas tree or the whole snow scene. Instead, check this out. We've got like a little branch there, right? Just a hint. And then over here again, I think this might be mistletoe and then some hanging lights. So what you want to take from this is if you go and you seek out imagery, especially from a free place like Unsplash, or if you pay for an image on Shutterstock, don't, you don't have to use the image just as is. You could zoom way in and just pick a snippet of it. And the other great thing about this approach that you should know is this, they, it gives them a lot of white space, okay, so that their text isn't um, trying to compete with a lot of busyness in the photo. If they have the whole Christmas tree in here, for example, um, they would have to try and arrange their text around it so it's still readable, okay? So they don't have something competing with their text. It's just more enhancing it. And sometimes when you zoom in on one of your source photos, you can get just a snippet of a scene, like a hint of something. It's subtle. It's a really cool thing to do. Then this third one I grabbed from, I think it was um, whatever the name of Victoria's Secret younger line is. I'm so sorry. I can't remember it. But this was in the window. And the, here's what I love about this. First of all, check out the gradients, right? Like they've got this awesome gradient background. So that's something that you could just go swipe right away use a really cool looking gradient background. If you go to unsplash.com and you search for gradient background, you can find a bunch of these, grab it, pull it in Canva, make it the background, and then do a quote on top of it. That could be a quote card for Instagram. And then the other thing you could borrow from them, like take this, swipe it, roll with it, see how they've got the text outlined here. So they have some of their text outlined and some of their text filled. Now, one thing I want to caution you at is I wouldn't necessarily mix and match this outline text effect and then also use the American Eagle text effect over here where they've got the drop shadow on it. That becomes a little bit too noisy, too cluttered. So kind of pick one and roll with it. 
The other thing I love over here on this gradient one is they've got a little logo. They've got some description text and a logo. And the other thing I want you to learn from this design, all of these designs is look how balanced they are. You've got the headlines in one size, right? But then they have this description text. And over here, it's the same thing on this one from Victoria's Secret. It's not as big. Like notice how the headlines one size and then the description text is smaller. So you can have a bit of text to catch people's eyes, grab them, then have a little bit of description text underneath it. And then either the brand name or the logo is quite a bit smaller, okay? So those are just three ideas I captured from the mall in like five minutes. So the other thing I wanna encourage you to do is if you are going out, go out to the mall, look around, like start to look at the signage through my eyes, through what I've taught you today and think about, oh, could this work on my graphics? I'm gonna stop sharing my screen so I can say goodbye to you. Hold on, stop share. I hope this was helpful to you and I hope you're having a great week. I will see you again next week on Tuesday for Talk Shop Tuesday. I can't wait to see you then. Talk to you soon. Bye.